Have you ever seen one of these amazing Formula 1 liveries and wondered how were these made? There are several ways. If you already have an idea of your design, it's actually not that complicated. And it can be done only with free software. Let's get right into it. In this tutorial, I'll be use Formula 1 concept car model, which I created for my YouTube short series. This model is fully prepared for livery applying. It's already UV unwrapped and with necessary textures applied. You can download it with all additional resources which I will use in this tutorial from the link in the video description. There are several 3D softwares you can use. Paid, Cinema 4D or 3DS Max, or free like Blender, which I will use in this tutorial. When you open the Blend file, you will see this. First, let's make sure our settings are correct. Let's go to Edit, Preferences, System, and make sure you have the correct GPU or CPU selected. If that's OK, we can switch to viewport shading. What we have now is model with color ID map applied. These colors make us able to identify where part of our model is located in 2D texture image. When we open the material map folder, we will find here several material ID maps for parts of our Formula 1 car. Onto these maps we will add stickers and our designs. Then they will be placed on corresponding spots on the 3D model. This is the most common way of texturing any 3D model. You can draw on these images in your favorite software like Photoshop or Illustrator. I will use PaintNet to make this tutorial only with free software. To begin, open all color maps plus a sticker sheet for our livery. This will be a Ferrari. It's just a transparent PNG with all needed stickers. Let's take red and black with color picker and start with front wing. Front wing on this car will be mostly black. Pick parts which should be black, add a new layer and fill them with corresponding color. Then do the same thing for a red color. On top of these color layers goes sticker layer. Just copy paste all stickers you want to their places. You can rename these layers if you want to. What we can make now are maps, which will define which parts should be metallic, rough or glossy. I want these red parts to have metallic effects, so I choose them, add a new layer and fill them with white color. White means 100% metallic, black means non-metallic. Add a layer filled with black underneath. And merge these two layers. The same principle goes for roughness map. I want to make only stickers glossy with that reflective effect on them. Then export all maps by changing layer visibility and exporting them individually. We need to make the same thing to rest of our parts, I will quickly do it.
Now, when we have all maps prepared, we can go back to Blender. Go to Shading, change Vapor Mode and we can start with Main Body. Select Main Body and import Color Texture which you created into Image Texture node. We can see our livery now. Duplicate Image Texture node, connect it to Mapping, add a Color Map and connect it to Metallic Input of Principled node. Then import metal map. We can change the amount of metalness with sliders in color ramp or add an additional mud node to make additional adjustment of its strength. The same principle goes for roughness map. Copy previous nodes, connect them and import roughness map. I will quickly do the same thing for all remaining parts. Now we can go to modeling window and switch to render view. And here we go, our livery is on 3D model. It's not that complicated. To render this and save as image, press 0 to switch to camera. In render setting set your resolution. Set up your camera like you want it, then click on the camera in the tree. Make sure you are in object mode, I was in edit mode and didn't notice it. Now in camera settings we can choose our focus object. Hit F12 to start rendering. This will take some time, around 2 minutes on my computer, so you can get a cup of coffee in time. I will fast forward to the end and you can save the result via image, save as. So this is basically it. This is the most common and probably easiest way to create these Formula 1 liveries. It's not the most beginner friendly or intuitive one. That's why I'm going to show you a second way, using Quixel Mixer. Quixel Mixer is a free alternative to Substance Painter. To start, create a new mix. I will start with main body. Choose resolution, 4K is maximum supported right now. Let's import our 3D model. Change type to custom and choose which model you want to import. This model was exported from Blender, it's in resources. It can be any model from Blender with all modifiers applied, exported as FBX. Under Material ID we will import Color ID map. If we switch to Material ID view, we will see the same thing as in Blender before. Go to Layers. Add a new solid layer and select which maps you want to edit. For color, it's Albedo. I will choose an Alpha Tauri blue for this livery. Right click on layer, add ID mask and choose on which parts of model should be this color applied. You can rotate the model with Alt plus middle mouse button, translate with middle mouse button, scroll to zoom. Let's add another solid layer with white color. Again, choose which parts it will be applied to.
What we can do now which is great benefit over previous texturing method is that we can change metalness and roughness of these layers directly using sliders. Later we just export all maps at once. Another great tool in Mixer is a paint layer. In this layer we can paint all maps, roughness, metalness, color at once directly onto 3D model. You can use brushes or the better option, use images as brushes. Image needs to be basically an alpha map. Black will be transparent, white will be painted onto surface. Let's take a sticker for front nose. Rotate model like you want it, change size and just click left mouse button. The sticker is on the model. The same way I will apply all remaining stickers. Currently in Mixer we can draw a multicolor images with brushes. But what you can do is to import our image into solid layer and move it to its place. Import all maps you need, I have only color and alpha. Change placement and position the image. Choose freeform, otherwise you don't have scale option. You can move the image around using sliders. You move it in 2D space, but immediately see the result on the 3D model. You can switch the 2D mode to set it precisely on its place. Now, when we have our stickers on the model, go to export. Choose which maps you want to export, choose resolution from drop down menu and hit export. We are done for this part, I will texture remaining parts the exactly same way. When we finish in Mixer, we can go back to Blender and apply our textures. Go to Shading, switch the viewport mode so Blender will not draw textures every time you change something. And replace all Ferrari textures with new Alpha Tauri livery. When you replace all textures and adjust them how you like, switch to modeling and render view to take a look on the result. And here you go, second delivery is on the car. You might notice that the rendering takes some time. What we can do now, instead of render single image, save it and repeat again, we can set up several cameras and render them as animation. Go to Compositing, add File Output node, connect it to Final Image and choose the Save folder. That will save images instead of us. Then go to Animation. Select Camera, make it active by clicking the camera icon in the tree, place it like you want it, go to Timeline, select Frame and hit Ctrl B. 
that will add camera to this frame. Move to next frame, duplicate camera, make it active, control B on the timeline and move it to new position. This way you can place as many cameras as you want. Then in render properties select start frame, end frame and with Ctrl F12 render animation. It will render all frames in selected range and save images individually. You don't need to be present at the computer during the rendering. And here are the results for Bore Averly Varies. I prepared these several cameras for you, so you can get exactly these final images out of provided blend file. What I like to do in addition, is take these renders to Adobe Lightroom and edit them a little, give them the final touch. I did the same for these renders as well, let's take a look on the output. You see, it's nothing complicated at all. You can get straight into work, what are you waiting for? I would like to see your final design, so if you use my model, you can tag me on Instagram. That's all for today's video, if you enjoyed it, give it a like and subscribe for more.